perhaps the oldest fragment is papyrus number 52, also known as John Ryland's papyrus number 457. And this is housed at the John Ryland's Library of Manchester University in England. Uh, it was discovered in 1934 by uh, C.H. Roberts and discovered this fragment that is no larger than the palm of my hand, two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And the, the interesting thing about this fragment was uh, it was uh, uh, written on both sides. Uh, what, what that told him uh, almost immediately, it was probably a Christian fragment. The reason is, if it's written on both sides, it would have been written on a codex, uh, which is our modern book form invented at the end of the first century AD. A codex where you bind it on one side, then you have uh, cut pages that you flip, as opposed to the roll or the scroll that all other books at the time had been uh, written on. And so this is written on both sides. And uh, John 18, 31 through 33 was on one side, John 18, 37 and 38 on the other. Ninety years earlier than when C.H. Uh, Roberts discovered this fragment, in 1844 in the uh, journal the Tübinger Jahrbuch, F.C. Bauer of Tübingen University had argued that John's gospel cannot be dated any earlier than A.D. 160 and most likely was to be dated about A.D. 170. Obviously, if it's in the second half of the second century, then it has no eyewitness credibility to it, and so its historical reliability was completely uh, uh, dashed. But then when Roberts discovers this small fragment, he gets it published in 1935 after he had sent photographs of it to the three leading papyrologists in Europe at the time. Each one of them wrote back to him and said, this manuscript cannot be dated any later than A.D. 150 and should be dated closer to A.D. 100. A fourth demurred. He said, no, I think this should be uh, dated in the 90s of the first century. So you have these scholars who are saying the, the copy of John's Gospel can't be dated later than 150. It's probably closer to 100. Typically, we date that at about 125 now, but really it's, it's a date between 100 and 150. But here's the interesting thing. Generally speaking, a copy of a manuscript is not written before the original of the document. This sent two tons of European scholarship to the flames and brought John's Gospel back into the first century. And with that and the Dead Sea Scrolls and some other things that have occurred in the last few decades, now we're beginning to see that John's Gospel has historical credibility.